Uh, this matter we have joining us live Jamu Olaumi, who is the SSA on education to Governor Oyetola. Good to have you, Mr. Olawumi. Good okay. morning, it's a pleasure. Thank you for being with us. And now, very quickly, tell us the rationale behind this reversal by the state government. Okay, good morning, and um, it's good to be here. Thank you for uh, joining first, us. First, let me uh, make a slight correction. I'm not SSA to the governor. We apologize. I'm special advisor on education to the governor. Thank you for that uh, special so, advice. So that when, when you are coming back with your news, you know the caption. Thank you. Thank yes, you for that um, correction. Good morning, Nigeria. Good morning, Africa. Uh, the issue of uh, education reform in Ocean State uh, is not by accident, uh, but out of the need of the people who made representation to the governor on all issues from concerning governance in the last eight years before the assumption of office of Governor Boyi uh, In January 20, uh, 2019, January 3rd, the governor conducted um, town hall meetings in nine federal constituencies. And on 13th March, there was a report of uh, DFID on citizens' needs assessment, which was conducted in 30 local governments plus the area office. Uh, the report of the two uh, uh, fora boils down on the, among other things, on education and uh, the ass reassessment of what we've had in the last uh, eight years uh, precedent to Governor Itola's tenure. Uh, one of the issues raised there, uh, I must also tell you that uh, after the report, the Executive Council uh, referred uh, the report of the ESCO memo written by the uh, Minister of Education and set up a committee to review the critical ones. Critical ones include uniform, uh, the form of education, uh, the system of education, uh, and, other, and some other issues, and name of schools. So, and uh, the Deputy Governor Committee on, report, on reporting to the ESCO uh, suggested that eminent personalities across the state should come on board to hold the review because um, uh, it was the same party that uh, conducted, that, re that reviewed the instant policies and uh, mm -hmm. the party again produced the governor that uh, has been submitted to uh, the report from a DFID and the town hall meetings. Right. Uh, the ESCO nominated uh, Professor Luai, no? as a chairman, uh, and the following were members of the committee. All right. That's Emeritus Professor Pai Obanya from University of Ibadan. <laughs> okay, let, let's... Alanyakine, if I ask you to hold your thoughts the association, on the, the, those... Also, and other people like that. All right. But prominent among them was also Dr. Iwadai, the former registrar of Waek, and uh, Professor Ubilade, who was former vice chancellor of... Uh, uh, Thais Sulani College of Education. Right, uh, Mr. Wa Omao, sorry, sir, if I may interject you there. I was just going to ask you, could this be, at a moving away from the names of, you know, those who are selected, uh, could this be an attempt to jettison the unpopular policies of the last administration? What's your so thought? The, 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 I will not say the unpopular policies, because the, pop, the policy ran for eight years. But to look at the demands of the people, occasioned by reports from the needs assessment, because you say the unpopular policy were part of that government. And the essence of policy is to bring about uh, soccer and good governance. So when it is no longer giving you results, you put together uh, eminent personality to look at the way forward and what the people needed. Hmm. And that's exactly what we did. All right. Mr. Laumi, can we trust the government that this is a case of, you know, discontinuing past government policies because the arguments might be government should be a continuum? Let me, let me, give, an, let me give an example. The pol national policy on education is 6334. And that is what is run throughout the country, every state, in every state of the federation. But in the eight years we are they, they, they reviewed, we were operating four, five, three, four, meaning that primary five and six in Ocean State will move to secondary school. The excuse of the government there was because there was film, uh, school feeding uh, school feeding program mm -hmm. that gives that was giving uh, 
meals to primaries one to four. We believe that uh, five and six could be traumatized, but that would not be big enough as a reason to alter the national policy on education. Mm. Otherwise, your students will become aliens in their own fatherland. You can look at all ancillary difficulties that will follow primary five and six moving to secondary school at a premature age. So those are the issues people complain about. It's not about uh, anybody trying to rewrite history. Okay. But we are writing what people will need to develop. All right. Give me for, let me give you, for, for instance, uh, the former government of uh, Gwenaleg Beshola and this government. This is an offshoot of that government because we have close to 20 actors in that, in that, in that, in that government who are also now actors in the government including the governor who was the chief of staff. Mm. So we did it together, and we are living together. If when I were to to be here as governor, and there was a, a town hall meeting report and the DFID report on the need to change policies. All right, help us clarify enough, one them. more time. Help us clarify one more time. There are reports that this is not just uh, the state government's decision. It is a function of litigation against the state by some people. How true is that? Let me tell you about the name change, which was also reviewed. The government of, the, of, the, of our government under Gwenaregwe Shola changed all schools' names to government high school or middle school. There was nothing like middle school in national policy on education. What we had is junior secondary school and senior secondary school. And then instead of leaving the names, Take, for instance, Elisha Grammar School was changed to Elisha Government High School. And those students went to court to challenge it. Mm. I must let you know that prominent among those students uh, is the uh, general version of Redeemed uh, uh, Redeem Christian Church of God, uh, Baba Deboe, and uh, Professor Bola Jakemi and others. Odudua College, we produce uh, a large Latin Jack on Day. We got the uh, granting more earth uh, to, 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 to lead us. Uh, further, attended Odua College and was changed to Odua Government High School. That school also produced the later Attorney General of the Federation, Chief Richard Akinjidi. All of them went to court to challenge the government policy. Mm -hmm. And because of that, they handed off running of the school. And you'll be out with me that you cannot run schools without the uh, input of the stakeholders and those student associations, especially. We also changed their uniform, and everybody was wearing a monolithic uniform which was not even given to, was not given uh, an access to by the government so that everybody will be able to assess and uh, contribute. And that brings me to my next the, question. Uh, th that brings me to my next question, which is, what's going to be the modalities? Is the state government providing these uniforms or would there be sanctions against students or schools who refuse to comply for whatever reason? Let me tell you this. Um, our policy in Oshun, which I know is the policy all over the world, is adopting responsible parenting. You can't leave the input of the parent out of uh, education of their children. And that is why the government is involving parents and all stakeholders in provision of um, amenities in schools. This uniform is going to be given to their to the puppies by their parents. That's an, a critical aspect of responsible parenting. A parent should be able to give uniform out to the, to, to, to the child going to school. Hmm. G government is not going to give uniform for free. It was at a time when government of our, when Alec Bachelor was doing social intervention, trying to assist people in critical areas that we doubled into issue of uniform. But now, government cannot afford to spend three three, four billion naira on giving out uniform for free when other social needs are begging to be attended to. Parents should give uniform to their children coming to our schools. Mm. All right. Uh, I want to say thank you so very much. Essay to the governor on education, um, Mr. Jamil Olaumi, for your contributions. And do keep safe out there. Do keep safe out there. Thank you.